which stats to use to predict over 2.5 goals. And how do you use them? Hello welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also hit the bell notification icon. By now we know how the average football match looks like from over 2.5 goals perspective. So, let's put this together and find out how to predict over 2.5. First of all, let's see which football stats to use. Over 2.5 goals percent. This will be our primary one. We want to find football matches where two teams meet with high over 2.5 goals percentage. To do this, you can always use the league average to compare to the team's goal average. The next is the BTTS percent. That is the both teams to score percentage. If a game goes over 2.5 goals, 80% of the time both teams will score. So, let's use this stat. If you want to place an insurance bet, it will be useful too. If BTTS percent are lower, you should look for other scores than 1 to 1 to cover your bet. The next thing to look out for is a team that always score goals between 0 to 15 and 0 to 30 minutes. An early goal can significantly increase your chance to win your over 2.5 goals bet. Look for teams who prefer to score early and you'll see an increase in your win rate. You should also look for team with high scored slash considered percentage. This one is also important. You need to look for fixtures where both teams are capable not only to score, but concede. Make sure you avoid games where two teams are playing against each other that are better in conceding than scoring. Another thing is team that always score over 1.5 goals at first half. This is a sneaky one. You have seen that two goals at any point of the match will result a good win rate. If you can spot teams that have better than average over 1.5% at halftime, you can significantly increase your chances. Now, what is the best time time to bet over 2.5 goals? Of course, you don't need to stick to pre-match betting when it comes to under slash over markets. There are different scenarios too. You can wait a bit and place the over 2.5 bet after the kickoff at a higher price. You can also wait for the first or the second goal and pull the trigger even later. Let's analyze these scenarios. The first thing to look out for is a scoreline of 0 to 0 early in the game. If you've managed to find a game that you are confident it will finish with at least 3 goals, you can still decide to wait. There could be multiple reasons for this, including you want a better price or simply you want to take a look at the match before you put your stake on over. Most of the time you want to take this approach when you don't expect an early goal. As we said, early goals are crucial to succeed, but it doesn't mean you can't wait 10 to 15 minutes to enter. When you identify a fixture where you don't expect a goal in the first 15 minutes, just wait. By doing so, you have the advantage of being able to take a look at the game, and of course, you get a better price. If you prefer this option, use this checklist. 1. Look for fixtures where you're happy with all the pre-match stats, but early goals are not likely. 2. Identify those fixtures where the likelihood of scoring first-half goals is still high, even if it's 0-0 zero zero in the 20th minute. 3. Look for teams with high over 2.5% when the score is 0-0 zero zero in the 15th or in the 20th minute. The second option is goal at halftime. If there is a goal in the first half, you get a good odds at halftime for over 2.5 goals. If you want to enter earlier, you need to pay the price, as the odds will be significantly lower. On the other hand, there is nothing wrong in waiting until this point. The thing is, you've seen one half of football, and you know who is leading. It's important to have this info as teams are behaving differently in certain situations. Some teams will play more open than other, and some teams will keep pushing even when they have the lead. Here is your checklist for this spot. 1. Take into consideration the scoreline. Always use situational stats, e.g., what happens if home slash away team has the lead. 2. Look for early goals. We discussed this many times, 
early goals are keen. Make sure you always check goal stats between halftime and 60th minute. 3. Look for fixtures with high 2 plus goals percent in this spot. 4. Identify teams that are capable to score and concede in this spot. The number 3 spot to check high goal at the 60th minute. Okay, this is a tricky one. If there is only one goal by the 60th minute, you get extremely high odds. You can expect the price to be around 3.00 odds, sometimes even higher. This is definitely a low-risk, high-reward spot. If you check back to the previous options, you'll find out what's the primary thing to look for. An early goal. If you enter at the 60th minute with one goal scored already, on average you'll win 29% of the time. If the second goal is scored by the 75th minute, your chance to win will jump to 49%. That's a huge difference, not to mention that an early goal will give you an easy trade to manage. So, here is your checklist. 1. Check the spot. Have these teams produced 2 plus goals frequently in this situation? 2. Look for teams that produced early goals in this spot by the 75th minute. 3. Watch the game or at least check the live stats. Is there enough action to place your bets? Like, shot on goal, goal attempts coming from both teams. The next is goals by the 75th minute. This is the easiest spot in our opinion. You need only one goal in a situation where almost 50% of the games goes over. At this point, the odds will be very close to 2.00 but many times it will be already higher. At this spot, we advise to take into consideration further stats. If the score is 2 to 0 or 0 to 2, utilize the low leverage situational stats. It includes all the games where the goal difference was at least 2 between the teams. Why is it so important? Just as we said earlier, teams do behave differently in certain situations. Some teams are producing garbage time goals, some others just chew the clock. Last, but not least check how many goals were scored in the second half already. It's quite important. As we said earlier, if there is no goal by the halftime, we can't really expect games to go over 2.5. Therefore, always check the X goals scored between HT and 75th minute stats. Finally, here is your checklist. 1. Look for teams that are producing late goals at a high percentage in the current situation. 2. Check the scored slash considered percentages. Try to avoid teams with strong defense or weak offense. 3. Take a look at the leverage stats. 4. Check what happened in the second half so far, compare them to 0 to 1 goal stats in the second half. 5. Watch the game, or at least check the live stats. If there is not enough action, it's a no bet. I hope this information is useful to you. Please use the comment section to comment on this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and share this video. See you next time. Bye.